Godot's code editor comes with powerful functions for you to write a bit more comfortably. You can find them all in the drop down menus at the top. And if you haven't looked at them already, we're going to do that in this video. I made a cheat sheet, you will find it on GitHub. You can use it to reference all the shortcuts from the editor and to write code a bit more comfortably, maybe a bit faster too. I quite like the first one. It's Shift F11 to toggle the distraction free mode on and off. It not only works for the script tab, but also for the 2D and 3D views. If you select something, press Shift F1 to search for it in the documentation. Say you write some function, you find some function in the auto completion or some class in particular, you want to check out its methods, press Shift F1 with it selected and you will find it in the docs. If you want to search for a particular method, like on Vector2 you have slide, be sure to select the dot. It's not always necessary, but with the dot you're guaranteed to find methods. If you don't select it, it will also search objects. And with the slider class, for instance, you will find a lot of results, not necessarily the one you want. For the basics like Control W to close the current file or using Control plus left and right arrow to jump between words, these are not specific to Godot, so I invite you to check out the cheat list. However, some tricks are specific to code editors and Godot. For example, if you don't select anything, you can cut something by pressing Control X. It will cut the current line. You can paste it anywhere with Control V. It will retain the indentation, as you can see. To duplicate a line or your selection, you can use Control B. It will copy the lines down. If you select multiple, it will not only copy the lines, but it will try to respect the indentation. You can increase the font size with Control equal and reduce it with Control caret or Control minus. You can't use the numpad for that. You have to use the numbers at the top of your keyboard. With Alt and the up and down arrow keys, you, you can move lines up and down the script. You can select as many as you want and move them together as well. It retains the indentation. And talking about indent, use Alt left and Alt right to change the indent level of a line or your entire selection. It's better than using tab or shift tab because if you're in the middle of a word, tab will insert a tabulation and it will work differently if you select multiple lines. With alt left and right, it always works the same regardless of whether you have one line or several lines selected. When you're in the middle of an expression and you want to insert a line above or below, you can use control enter to jump to the next line below or control shift enter to insert a new line above the current line. Say you have some trailing tabulations or spaces that you want to remove, press control alt T to remove trailing white space. It will also remove those tabs left in between the code and it applies to the entire document. Another very important one, comment out your selection or uncomment it with control K. There again, it works if you have a single line selected. To open a script, you can go back to the file system tab, but you don't have to actually. If you press Ctrl Alt O, a new window will open and you can search your scripts in your project by name. Similarly, you can open scenes the same way with Ctrl Shift O. When you have several scripts open, or if you search for something in the docs and open the class, you might want to jump back to the script you were working on. You don't have to use the mouse for that. With Control Alt and left arrow, you move back in the document history. With Control Alt right arrow, you move forward in the history. And if you were wondering what those colors mean on the document names, that's actually the history. You can jump to a line anytime with Control L, enter a number and you will jump to it. On top of lines, you can jump to a function anytime with Control F and search it by name or select it in the list. Press enter to jump to it. To find and replace in the script, select anything, press Control F and you will find it. 
Now, say I want to check where I'm using the velocity variable in the script, I'll select it and then press Ctrl F. With F3, I can jump to the next occurrence and Shift F3 allows me to navigate back and it will cycle through the script. In the same way with Ctrl R, you can search and replace. I want to change mass into a constant, so I'll add capital letters and click replace all. The last few functions are related to debug. With F9, you can toggle a line as a breakpoint. Then with control period, you can move forward to the next breakpoint. And normally with control comma, you move back, but it doesn't seem to work on my keyboard. With control shift F9, you can remove all the breakpoints. There are a few more things to talk about if you're a beginner. With the home key, you can move to the start of a line, with the end key to the end of a line. Shift plus any arrow or key combination that moves the caret will select everything on its way. So when you're using Shift plus home, for example, you will select from the caret to the start of the line. With Control, Shift and home, you will select up to the start of the document. With Control, Shift, and end, you will select down to the end of the document. 